Hi guys, it's Chris calling. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you've returned since my last video, then thank you very much. And if you guys are new here, then please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Now, if you are a newer Eurovision fan, you might not know that there is actually a different version of the actual Eurovision Song Contest, and it is called Junior Eurovision Song Contest. Held for contestants aged 9 to 14, Junior Eurovision 2023 is set to be hosted by France after the amazing Lissandro with the song Oh My Man won last year and the competition will be held in Nice in France. So I'm definitely going to be tuning in this year. Today I thought to mark Lissandro's win and to just familiarise myself with the past winners of Eurovision that I didn't, I haven't even seen any of these winners before. I thought let's familiarise ourselves with the past winners since 2003 up to now. So as far as I'm aware with this video we're going to be going back back in time from then. So we're going to be starting from 2021 and we're going to be making our way year by year back, seeing each and every winner that has won the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. All right, let's do it. Okay, what are we starting with? Okay, so Armenia, who won the contest in 2021 in Paris, and this is Malena Kami Kami. Wow. Amazing voice. I love the outfits as well, really cool outfits, it's almost like like a space kind of, like they're in like loads of planets and it's like um, a galaxy. What a little bop, I love it. Wow. Okay, we got, we got France. Oh, she's so cute. Uh, we've got Valentina, je imagine. Uh, and this was held in Poland 2020. Wow, she's got an amazing voice. Well, and the dancers as well, look at them. They got some moves. God, they've got so much confidence at a young age, it's crazy. Poland, who, Vicky Gabor, superhero. And this song contest was actually in Poland in 2019. Whoa, I like this tune. I love what she's wearing. The stage is amazing here. Wow, she's got an amazing voice, like quite a gravelly voice. It's really cool. All of these songs are bop so far. Okay. We've got Poland again, so Roxana Vigil, Anyone I Want To Be in Mint 2018. Wow. Oh my gosh. Paulina Begusevich, Wings, which was Russia. Wow, she's got an amazing voice. Oh my gosh. I think this is 2017. Wow, what an amazing ballad performance. She's connecting with the camera really well. We've got Mariam Mamadashvili with the song Museo, and this was uh, Georgia in Valletta 2016. Are you hearing this? <laughs> I'm actually outstanding by some of the talent of these these contestants. Oh wow, this was Malta in Sofia 2015. Destiny. Yeah, so Destiny, she performed in the actual Eurovision, so the, the grown-up Eurovision, Eurovision 2021 in Rotterdam. Um, with the short song Je Macasse. We absolutely loved her there. And I remember at that time that it came up that she she won Junior Eurovision, got Not My Soul. I mean, her voice was just as good back then, wasn't it, that it is now. I really like Destiny because loads of her songs are about female empowerment and they're really strong, positive songs. And I really, I love that. Okay, this was Italy in Malta 2014. I'm going to be saying some of these names wrong, sorry guys, but this is 
Vincenzo Cantiello and with the song Tu Primo Grande Amore. Wow. What a stage presence. Love this stage show. I love the lighting. I love the little outfit that he's got on. He looks really fresh. We're in Kiev in 2013, we've got Gaia Kaushi with the song The Star, and this was Malta who won that year. Wow, like another amazing bud. What a voice! We know Malta has some talent, like they have some of the best vocalists I think that have ever been in Eurovision. Um, I think we had Kiara back in the day. Uh, again, I'm just comparing this to actual Eurovision, but I think that's the point. These winners, these, these performers are amazing. Like they could literally take, they could compete in actual Eurovision and I bet some of them would do really well. We've got Anastasia Petrik with the song Nebo and she performed for Ukraine. And this was in Amsterdam in 2012. Wow, I love the stage show. I love what she's wearing, the wind machine. She reminds me of like Elsa in what she's wearing. She's like an ice queen. I love it. All right, we've got Georgia again. And this was in Yerevan in 2011 with, and it was Candy with Candy Music. Okay. Love the outfits. Oh, this is Iru, who was competing for Georgia this year in 2023 in Liverpool. And I knew she'd been in Junior Eurovision, but I've only just realised this is the song. She's got such an amazing voice. Okay, we've got Vladimir uh, with the song Mama. And this was Armenia in mid 2010. Another little bop, I love it. He's got a good stage presence, isn't he? Connected with the camera. I love the dancing. The dancers are on point as well. They're so in sync. Okay, we've got Ralph with the song Click Clack. It's the Netherlands. Wow. And this was in Kiev in 2009. Okay, interesting choice of costume. Definitely memorable. Oh, well, we've got some tap dancing. Okay. Very memorable. Oh my lord. Wow, what moves? They've got good moves then. That's amazing. Okay, we've got Zikebi with the song Buzz. Uh, this was in Limassol in Cyprus in 2008, and this was Georgia. Wow. I think the song's getting crazier and crazier the more back in time we go. <laughs> Bring them back, I say. The outfits are everything, this is so cute. <laughs> okay, we've got Belarus in Rothstam 2007, and this is Alexi with the song Zdrzum Yami, I think you say. <laughs> Probably not. Wow, that's a packed house. I tell you what, some of these dancers, they're incredible. <laughs> This is the Tomlovechi sisters uh, who represented Russia in Bucharest in 2006 and they won. They were twins and they actually were in the Eurovision 2014 adult version. Oh my gosh, they look so young. What amazing voices. Sharing the same talent there, clearly. This is Ksenia Sitnik, um, and this was Belarus in Hasselt 2005. Wow, I like her little her little visor cap. Oh, she's loving it. 
you can tell they all love performing because there's not a sense of nerves at all. They would have been cameras around as well. It just doesn't phase them. It's amazing. This is Spain in Lillehammer 2004. Maria Isabel. Oh, I like the fans. Well, very like flamenco. I like the vibes here. Oh, what an amazing voice. Okay, this was Croatia in Copenhagen 2003, and this is Dino Jalusi. I love that jacket. That's such a cool jacket. Oh, connecting with the camera there. <laughs> Got a good stage presence. That crowd are loving it. There we go. Oh my gosh, that was so quick. I'm actually outstanded by the talent of our Junior Eurovision contestants. That is absolutely baffling. Wow. Well, I'm definitely going to be tuning into Nice 2023. Are you? That is the question. As always, guys, thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'll, I'll really look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye, guys.